Okay, you're joining me here today in the Discord of the club. We're at the Rainbow Ships uh, Arc channel. And look at this new picture here. Hmm. Now, this is confirmed. Danny confirmed this is indeed the Ark. We've also got another new ship in the Tufa, Tufa Spirit. You can see here. We also have a Titan ship, Thimble Super Phoenix. Massive ship. And we've also got some more artwork here. Now, we have this one here in red. Could be either Calico Medtech, says Samskara, one of our team leaders here. Uh, we have another one, possibly the Busan Maidenheart. And an unconfirmed Thimble ship. Now, let's go back to all of these later. But how do we have these? Well, the Gao brochure number two has been released. Woohoo! Okay, so, yes, uh, in the town hall uh, yesterday, March the 4th, it was announced the new Gao Galactic Asset Offering brochure is out, available to view. So here it is. And we can see here all the different ships that are planned to be released. And there is a lot. I've counted in here uh, 48 ships. Uh, now we know that down here at the Titans, we've already seen these Titans before, three of them anyway. Um, so that brings us to a total of 45 new ships. But also we know that, uh, where are we? Here, Airbike, Unibomber, the, the MiG. We've seen these, they're already released and existing. So that means, that brings us to 42 new ships. Now that's gonna be a lot of Atlas, a lot of USDC will be needed. Uh, this is like multi tens of millions worth of new ships. I mean, likely even hundreds of millions worth of ships. So you better start saving. <laughs> I know I will be. But uh, I mean, it really shows that it's difficult to, to try and do a bit of everything in this in this game in Star Atlas. It's kind of forcing you to to focus where you actually want to to put your your investments. Um, there's just so many to uh, you, it can spir spiral well out of control. <laughs> um, I mean, let's have a look at uh, if we go back here, yeah, go up to the Jeeves channel. Um, in our Discord, I can just take a quick look at the score report. If Jeeves will allow it. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so total uh, right now, we've got $109 million uh, locked up in the score game, in, in ships value. Yeah, you can see all the ships here. Now that's just what's enlisted on the score. Um, there's obviously going to be many, many ships that aren't even enlisted yet. So that's from Gal uh, 1. So we can expect basically, I guess, similar or even more from Gal 2. So another 100 million. I, I think it's going to be even more, you know, 200 million. But that, that's just a huge number. Huge, huge number. And a lot more Atlas needed for the, uh, the emissions, the rewards, I guess. So the classes. Looks like there's some new classes. Uh, so what I've done is I've gone to our Explorer app, uh, gone to the Compare tab on the ships, and uh, this just gives you a nice little overview of um, the existing ships that are released by Star Atlas. Um, so we can see here cap capital ships, we've got a bomber, transport, multi rock da 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 uh, large. So I've just kind of, kind of totted those up uh, manually. Um, and then I've gone back to the, the cow brochure and manually gone through each of the, uh, the, the classes. And with the help of Samskara, we've come up with uh, a spreadsheet here. So existing gal, we can see the classes of ships and uh, the different sizes and how many of each uh, type we have. And now looking at the new gal uh, brochure, uh, we've just got an asterisk here. It's uh, so drones are not part of the GAO. Um, ground vehicles are included, but the, the drones are not. So uh, Star Atlas are planning to release also some drones. 
Um, also, uh, note here, I, I haven't included the Airbike MIG or e, uh, the uh, Unibomber in the new GAO, that's, that's included in the existing GAO. But, uh, so this gives you a, a quick idea of what is new. Uh, so for example, here on the Bounty Hunter, so existing we have a small, and the new uh, new gal, gal 2, we've got a medium and large Bounty Hunter on the way. Uh, we've got two large multi-role ships, that's going to be new, we've not seen those large ones before. Uh, rescue, we've got a small rescue, I think I know which one that will be. And we'll look at that at the end. Uh, freight. Okay, we've got a large and a capital freight ship incoming, uh, and also a small freight incoming. At the moment, we've got the uh, pack light and the OM, and they're medium. Data runner, and we've got a uh, small and medium. We've already got an, a medium data runner, which is the OPOD, but we're going to expect a new small and medium data runner. Uh, I mean, some people are asking, what does a data runner do? Um, how can you actually use it? And we do have an answer for that. You can scan the data of the, the, the planets, uh, calculate the, the value of the uh, un, un, unclaimed land on that planet. Uh, you can look at uh, maybe fleet data, if you see a fleet out in the distance, uh, nebula, asteroids, derelict ships maybe, and even the uh, escape pods, stranded escape pods, which would be good for the, the rescue ships, I imagine. And the better the radar, the more data there is to load up. But data runners have more storage capacity uh, uh, to haul the data like cargo, okay? So I guess each ship can collect data, but data runners uh, have more storage capacity. So what does this mean? Basically, uh, you can go out into deep space, scan a planet, but that doesn't automatically get uploaded to the marketplace. You have to bring that data back to I don't I don't know where you have to bring it back uh, either the safe zone or some kind of checkpoint or uh, we're not really sure but basically yeah you can't just go out and find data and sell it you need to bring it back and upload it to the uh, to the marketplace so that's quite risky on, on your way back you could be blown up and uh, well no payday for you <laughs> now what we can see here in Gal One. We've got all of these classes that we've not actually seen before that are coming out in the new gal. So we've got salvage and um, salvage is an interesting one because if we go over to the white paper, I'm on page 33 of the Star Atlas white paper here, you can see this this ship here. If we just zoom, zoom in a bit, okay, you can see here salvage wars uh, stamped on, on the back of this ship. Let me zoom back out again and go to uh, page 10. If I can find it. Okay, page 10. Salvage Wars. It's an in law game players can participate in. It allows the players to bid on containers full of salvaged assets. The contents of these containers are unknown before purchase. The weight of the containers and likelihood of quality content is known before purchase. So, this is an interesting game. Let's go back to 33. Now, oh yeah, we can see here, so this is the uh, the jet jet, obviously. Now this has since come to light, it's an existing ship. So I guess we can imagine that also this ship is gonna be brought to light. And who knows, uh, maybe they've designed one specific ship that's solely for this uh, Salvage Wars game but I would kind of imagine that actually what's, the, you know, why would they go through all of the effort of designing this ship and not put it up for the sale on the marketplace and only use it for salvage wars? I think for the amount of effort, you should probably uh, bring this to market. And if so, it's a really large freighter. I mean, if, if, these, if these are the same size as the pack light, which uh, let's, let's go back to the Explorer. Yeah, pack light. Okay, so in the pack light, we've got one, two, three, four of these containers. Um, let's go back to where are we? 
Okay. So here we have one, two, three, four, five, six by one, two, three. So we've got 18 in this row. One, two, three, 18 by four. So we've got 72 containers on this. This is a huge freighter. So looking forward to seeing this. Let's go back to the classes. So uh, salvage, uh, we've got tow haulers coming up. Uh, miners, that's interesting. Repair only, not repair and refuel. In my opinion, this probably makes the R8, which is the repair fuel um, ship. It's a large ship, but it probably makes this a bit more valuable in my opinion, because the ones that are coming out are repair only. And then we have ground. Two capital size ground ships. Uh, well, not actually ships, because let's go back to the gal. So you can see small ships here. We can see medium large ships here. But when we come to capital, they've changed this now. It's capital vehicles. Here we go ground, capital ground, capital ground. So the Fimble Tota and the Calico Flat Top are not actually ships, these are vehicles land vehicles maybe it's like this who knows <laughs> this is the bagger 288 in germany this is actually a real thing if you haven't seen it before uh, this isn't a star atlas <laughs> mock-up this is actually in service right now in, in the real world it's a huge mining rig and i mean we've seen it in, in some of the star atlas um, imagery similar objects but these don't actually look like vehicles they look like static structures right uh, but on this one here we have we can see some tracks here so maybe this is a huge mining rig who knows and then we have some land vehicles so one of them was the Fimble Tota you know that was a capital ship this doesn't really look like capital but you know we can take some references to this maybe it could be a, a huge a kind of dumper truck excavator type of thing we don't really know. Um, and also we have these. This is uh, previous Star Atlas art. Uh, and these are all obviously uh, ground vehicles. These are more for the agricultural side. But uh, so, we, you know, we, we might not see these in the Gal 2, but who knows, you know? I mean, we can see here a small harvester and then we have a much larger harvester here. Um, all the way up to these huge uh, kind of um, kind of transporter silo type uh, type ships. I mean that one's you know, full of uh, containers. Uh, maybe for transporting back up to your your space station or something. And maybe you get uh, some some ground vehicles for uh, salvaging uh, ship wreckages or debris. So now let's take a look at the ships that we first saw. So if we go back to the, uh, the gal brochure here, you can see these new ships. Now I've got these over here. Uh, here we go. So this here is what we think. The is the Busan Maiden Heart. Just go back to the gal brochure here, which is a capital, capital fighter. Okay. Have a little zoom in here. And I mean, it, it really looks like a Busan, right? We take a look at the Titan ship for this is Gal Gal version one. Uh, it, it showed the uh, the Busan uh, last stand Titan ship, and you can see the resemblance there, especially with the the the, the forward kind of uh, almost looks like a face or a head. That's kind of replicated here. So I'm going to take a guess and say it's a Busan made in half. See some. Uh, they may be static um, guns, or maybe they're mobile, uh, like hull tank type of things, maybe. Interesting ship, very nice looking. We also have this ship. Uh, let's take a zoom in. Fimble. So this one is for sure a Fimble ship. What could it be? It does kind of look a bit like uh, it could haul something. See this Star Atlas Tigo emoji emojis here. <laughs> Let's have a look back at the Gal brochure. What where were the Fimble? Uh, large Fimble ships. Uh, tow hauler, benzene. 
The Mamba Bounty Hunter? No, it can't be a Bounty Hunter. Data Runner? I doubt it. It doesn't look like it, does it? Uh, fighter? Hmm, doesn't really look like it. So, this could be the the Benzene, Fimble Benzene, a tow hauler type of ship. But uh, what do you think? Let us know in the comments. Next, we have what is now confirmed to be the Rainbow Arc here, which is a large freight ship. We'll take a zoom in on this so we can see the scale of this. So here's a human for scale. So I think it's named an Ark because it kind of looks a bit like Noah's Ark. And it, it, you can just store huge quantities of resources in this. And we know from the Rainbow Tech, hopefully it's going to be blistering fast as well. So we can really transport your, your goods very quickly with this ship. Next, look at this, the Fimble Super Phoenix Titan ship. I mean, wow. <laughs> look at this. It's incredible. I mean, here's the, um, the tree arrow here, the commander ship. I mean, it, it's tiny. It, this is even this is closer up in the camera so you know move, move this closer to the titan it's going to get even smaller it's, it's easily going to fit just in this section here we've got a nice uh, little village going on in here another kind of uh, landscaped uh, kind of city area really nice looking ship this and what is, uh, what actually is this? This is the uh, bomber. Okay, so yeah, we know Fimble like to bomb. So this is a huge bomber, Titan class. Uh, and this is going to go for somewhere around, well, we know that the Star Atlas are wanting somewhere around the 10 million mark for that. So it's going to be very interesting to, to see when this uh, when this is released and I think we can expect to see Titan ships uh, quarterly released so start saving again save up that 10 million you might just get one <laughs> and here is the two first spirit look at this very impressive ship take a zoom in whoa very zoomed in what do we have here some uh, some kind of missile Are these what are these are these bombs are they missiles very interesting uh, we've got some huge guns here and again I don't know missiles or something this is armed to the teeth uh, energy type of weapon huge energy weapon ion cannon or something like that uh, now at the forward end we've got a, a big uh, a, observation deck area and the same here so the these are kind of the, the bridge i guess you wouldn't like to meet that in an asteroid field <laughs> now going on we've seen this from star atlas uh, previously right on twitter so uh star atlas community we want you to decide which two new mysterious spaceships will drop next in the galactic mar marketplace uh, so that was february 17th okay so this one was dropped, number three, which is the MIC. So let's go back to the Explorer here. Okay, that was this ship. Yeah. Uh, right, so one and two. We don't know what these are. Um, number one, now we do, or at least I think we do. Now, originally I was thinking, uh, you know, this was port side, this was starboard, you know, this being the forward end, maybe there's a, there's like the bridge here. But actually, now we know from the GAO brochure, it's opposite. Here, yeah, you see the tail. So actually, uh, this is the port side here, this is starboard, and this is the forward end. So actually, it's, it's the opposite. So there you have it. Now, what is this ship? It's uh, Calico. It's painted red. Oh, there we go, Calico, yeah. It's painted red and it's uh, small. Why does it painted red mean anything? Well, we have here the uh, small rescue Cal uh, Calico MedTech. Okay, 
Now, if we look at the evac, Calico evac, this is also in the red. So, I don't know. I'm, I'm just going to kind of say it's uh, this is a uh, a rescue ship. And if if we zoom in, I mean, maybe they could look a little bit like paramedics. I'm not sure. Uh, we zoom into the tail here. Now these look like uh, they look very similar to the escape pods, but they also look like hatches. So it's possible on the tail end here, um, escape pods could be attached, or they uh, they they get taken into the uh, into the tail end um, and rescued. Uh, but also, I mean, the, the stance of this ship looks like it could have something underneath also. Uh, maybe something else attaches to it underneath. Looks like we have some, uh, I'm going to guess, uh, some scanning radar here for finding the escape pods. This is an interesting ship. Uh, I mean, we could go, go a little bit deeper actually into the design of this ship. Um, we've got some huge intakes here. And I imagine, and, and the same here on, on the engines here. now. Intakes are good for what? They're good for taking in air. So they're not actually going to be very good for space, are they? So this is more for uh, when the, the ship comes into atmosphere, it's going to need a lot of cooling. So it's going to use air for cooling. Same here, um, air is going to go in. Um, unless these are uh, kind of impulse engines and jet turbines all in one, I'm not really sure, but I imagine you would use the air for conductive uh, heat transfer for cooling. And then in space, you're going to rely on your uh, radiation type of cooling. There's no air in space. You can't use conductive um, air to, to cool it down. So interesting, very interesting. And uh, I'm looking forward to seeing some developments in this one. It looks like a very nice ship to fly also. And just to confirm this, uh, this was another uh, post on, on February 17th by Star Atlas. Uh, so we've added hints for the role. So fight in luxury. We know that was the chosen one. That was the MIG and it's a fighter. Press X for emergency for number one. X for emergency. So we could say it's uh, kind of like an emergency ship, a rescue ship. So I'm going to say this is the uh, Calico MedTech. And number two here, we still don't know what this is, but it says here, a thrilling ride. So if we look at the gal on the small ships, we've got the Busan Thrill of Life, small fighter. So I'd imagine the thrill, Busan Thrill of Life is likely number two here. Would you agree with that? Let us know in the comments. So there you have it, the gal brochure. Looking forward to seeing what, what comes out. And actually, what this ship is. <laughs> no idea what this ship is. I guess some uh, rainbow? Not sure. I may need some advice from you on that one. <laughs> Let me know in the comments and uh, join the club.